U of M, I guess, uh, I wanted to be outside because I applied to a few schools after I got out of the service and I got accepted to all of them, but everything would have led to a desk job, whereas Montana, I was able to get a job with the Forest Service, stay outside and, you know, I can get in my truck in five minutes. I can be outside of town and in the middle of the woods somewhere and have no idea that there's a city 20 miles from me or 15 miles down the road, you know. I am double majoring here at the university. I am getting a uh, plant physiology ecology degree through the biology department and then I'm also doing a wildland restoration degree through the forestry department and doing a wildland fire science minor, so a lot. Um, what I hope to get out of it, I don't know. <laughs> Hopefully I can stay in the woods, maybe continue working with the forest service, get a job working research, fire science, hopefully. Enlisted in the service December of 2001, shortly after 9-11. I was boots on the ground in Kuwait in February of 2003, right before the war kicked off. But it was an interesting time of my life, being in the middle of a desert in a foreign country and as we're invading another country. Um, so I was there and then um, of course we came home and I got lucky enough uh, to go to Korea and not go back to Iraq or Afghanistan. Um, thank God, because I don't think I ever want to go back to the desert. Um, I got out in August of 2010 and went back to Michigan. Had no idea what I wanted to do. Uh, I took a few months off and went fishing every day. I was on the lake five days, some, sometimes seven days a week on the water, which uh, helped me put things in perspective. I applied to the university, got accepted in September of 2011 and packed up my truck and moved out here. The veteran services on campus have been nothing but 100% helpful. Um, I have never had an issue with any of them. Um, I've had issues with the VA and money, but that's out of the actual services here on campus. And every time there's an issue, boy, they're on it. And within a week or two, things are taken care of. Um, just, uh, you can tell that the university cares about veterans, just in the services that they're offering. And, you know, just over across the street in Beckwith is the vet house. And it's just, for veterans, you can go in there, there's TVs, there's couches, there's a whole computer lab, there's a full kitchen, there's fridge, and you can go over there and hang out, and most of the services are located in there, and with everything being centrally located, it's just to walk up the stairs and knock on the door and be like, hey, can you help me? Help me? And they'll just be like, come on, sit down, and we'll figure it out. So next semester I plan on doing a video for the University of Montana to, to reach out to fellow veterans to just uh, maybe kind of inform them of how vet friendly this campus is and hopefully maybe share some of my experiences of how awesome my experiences have been here um, in hopes that we can raise our veteran population here on campus. Um, how we're going to get there I have no idea yet. Um, uh, we'll figure it out though, I think. <laughs> Hopefully.